Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. In this video today, we are going to be talking about Alfari and giving the latest update on his situation, what's going on as far as his visa, whether he's going to be able to make it into the country in time for the lock-in tournament, uh, for the start of the LCS Spring Split, and all of that good stuff. Because as you can see here, we're on Alfari's Instagram. He posted a story today um, where it appears he's at a train station, obviously sitting there chilling uh, with a thinking emoji. Um, I obviously have no idea where that train station is, but I know for a fact he is not in the United States states at least at this moment and, and for sure not when this picture was posted um i know on the team liquid subreddit there was a user speculating that he believes that's a train station in cardiff uh which is in wales uh again i don't know that for sure i'm assuming that guy's from europe but you know it's a person on reddit they could be saying anything but either way um if he's just if he is at a train station uh in wales obviously not in the United States. The LCS takes place in the United States. The LCS also starts in 10 days. So why is Alfari not in the country? What's going on? Is he going to be able to make it in time? Is he having visa issues? Is there something else going on behind the scenes? That we're, that's uh, what we're going to be covering in this video. So we'll go through all of that and give him kind of the latest updates and information um, that I'm hearing that I found out and all that good stuff. But before we get into it, I just want to mention real quick, if you're not already subscribed, definitely click that subscribe button really quick. It's fast. It's free. It's easy. It helps you guys stay up to date on all my latest content. And I would appreciate it a ton. Uh, I think we recently hit like 50 5,500, maybe we're getting close to 5,600 subscribers even. Um, so that's awesome. Obviously, early into 2021, I'd love to hit 6K as fast as we can. And, uh, you know, LCS, LEC, LCK, LPL are all right around the corners. So we're going to have a ton of awesome content coming your guys' way real, real soon. They don't want to miss out on any of that. Um, so here we go, getting right into this. Again, uh, a couple days ago, I posted this video. Um, if you haven't watched it, maybe you want to go check it out. Maybe not. I don't know. How far he's having visa issues? Question mark, exclamation point. Cloud9 heavy favorites of Team Liquid uh, is having... Uh, trouble or if Jenkins is a top laner uh, where I talked about um, you know the fact that Alfari is not in the United States yet and this was even January 1st this four days ago where I was saying you know LCS starts in 14 days where's Alfari at why is he not in the United States um, now that I've heard there's some other guys who might not be here as well I think somebody said that Finn is not in the United States um, and maybe did I hear that Jose Diodo isn't in the United States either yet I, I'm not sure about either of those two guys but that, those were rumors that I was hearing um, I haven't really looked into any, either of those further I've just been mostly focused on Alfari um, for the time being um, but again, this was a big story. Um, I said it was complete speculation. I wasn't even sure if he was having visa issues. I was just r raising the question, why is he not in the country? What is going on? Um, but today is actually big because this is going to be me kind of breaking my first story. You know, historically on this channel, I've gotten DMs from other people. I've talked about stories other people have covered. I've looked at tweets, articles from other people, and just kind of been, you know, the center for all the news and stuff. But I've never actually get, got, like had a source of my own or had people reaching out to me um, in the League of Legends scene and stuff. Uh, but today... I have actually heard word from a source very, very close to Team Liquid. I don't know how this stuff goes. I don't know what I have permission to say, um, if I can reveal like who it is or if they would even want me to or if I'm even allowed to talk about it, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure, so I'm going to be as careful as I can. But I had a, a source very, very close to the team uh, tell me that when I reached out, I can't even remember exactly what I said. I was like, um, yo, is Alfari having, is he actually having visa issues uh, and is he going to be ready to go for the lock-in tournament? Uh, I don't know, my camera like uh, stopped focusing. Um is Alfari having visa issues and is he going to be ready for the lock-in tournament? Uh, and they reached out and said to me that Alfari should be, quote, should be ready to go for the lock-in tournament. Uh, so uh, to me, that confirms that he was having visa issues and still is ongoing having visa issues, but they are confident that he will be ready to go for the lock-in tournament, obviously. Um, but the one disclaimer there is being he should be, that means there is some percentage chance that he won't be, and there's at least some doubt. You know, they didn't say, they didn't say, yes, he's going to be ready, or yes, you know, he's on his way to North America now, or he's going to be here in the next couple of days. And they actually just responded to me today. Um, this was a couple hours ago. So, uh, you know, when Alfari posted the, at the train station with the thinking emoji or whatever, some people are like, oh, maybe he's on his way to the United States right now. You know, maybe he's going to catch his flight or taking a train to the, to the airport or whatever. Um, but I don't think so. Um, I, I, that's not how I took it. And, and uh, you know, according to the source, that is not what's going on. But it could be. Obviously, things can change really, really fast. Um, and they're not giving me, like, live updates or anything. I was just lucky enough to actually have um, somebody behind the scenes, somebody, again, close to very, very close to the team, um, actually respond to me. But I do think this was interesting. One, this is a great sign for Team Liquid uh, because if... Uh, Alfari is ready to go for the lock-in tournament. That will be great for him. Yes, it sucks that they're not getting to scrim right now when pretty much every other team has started scrimming. Um, and, and Team Liquid is scrimming right now, but they're just obviously not at full force. Um, and you want to be able to develop synergy. You want to be able to start uh, kind of grinding up together, figuring things out, figuring out a play style, start learning about each other, and just growing as teammates and friends and everything too um, because having that camaraderie and stuff definitely helps. It also sucks because Team Liquid just went through all of this last year with Broxa. Um, and a lot of people, and myself included, I definitely believe that that has 
had some uh, lasting impacts on that team um, that maybe if Brockton would have been able to come in from the very beginning, maybe the spring split would have played out differently, maybe the summer split would have played out differently, maybe they would have been uh, a better, more cohesive unit. Because as we came to learn, Brox has said that a lot of that stuff did affect him mentally, did stress uh, himself out and the team out and maybe affected like the vibes and everything uh, and maybe just kind of kept them from being able to perform to their very best. So it would be unfortunate if something uh, very, very similar happened to the same team a year later with another big name, uh, kind of superstar European free agent. Uh, so that would suck. So I, I hope this is able to work out. I hope they're able to uh, kind of get it under control as soon as they can. But again, he should be ready to go, but they are not 100% sure. So uh, just being aware that there is some visa issues going on at the very least. They are trying to work things out. They are confident things will be able to be sorted out, um, but we don't know for sure. And again, if... Um, Team Liquid is having some visa issues. That means that very well other teams and other players could be having issues as well. Again, we heard yesterday that TSM is having visa issues with their academy support, Yursan. So that does not leave out of the question uh, other players and other teams. But my question yesterday was kind of, do academy play our academy players maybe treated different differently than LD LCS players? Is there a, you know maybe a hierarchy of priority or something? Um, and it appears not, because if Alfari is having some of those same issues, um, then very well maybe Finn could be having those issues as well. Very, very well maybe Jose Diodo could be having those issues as well. Well, again, I have not looked into those stories further, so I cannot confirm anything there. Um, but again, I have heard that Alfari, um, at the least, is having issues. And, and it's great to hear that Team Liquid is confident about that. I think that is awesome um, because, again, uh, I don't know who their backup top laner would be. Their academy top laner is Jenkins, and I don't think that would be very exciting to watch. I want to see these teams at full force. I want to see these teams going all out. Uh, you know, this is going to be the first ever lock-in tournament ever. I think viewership is going to be crazy. This is one of the most hyped-up LCS splits uh, in quite some time with so many big names uh, and so much hype coming into the split. Uh, and starting it off with an absolute banger LCS lock-in tournament, seeing all these teams at their peak form, kind of their top form at least, probably not peak because they're going to hopefully peak a couple months from now or hopefully close to Worlds, but uh, seeing them at their strongest, at their best with all the new players and stuff and all the big faces uh, is going to make it just so much more exciting. We don't want to leave questions like, oh, well, TL didn't have Alfari, so who cares? Or, you know, the whole lock-in tournament uh, doesn't even care, doesn't even matter, you know, don't, don't read into it too much. I, I want to see all these teams ready to go. And obviously it's going to be better for Team Liquid and Alfari if they get him uh, sooner than the very beginning of the lock-in tournament. You know, the sooner they can get him, the more they can start practicing, getting him used to the United States. Uh, obviously it's a, it's a big move moving halfway across the world. Um, yes, the culture is somewhat similar and obviously there's no language barriers or anything, but still uh, being away from friends, family, that can be tough. Uh, having to fit in with a new team, new environment, uh, and all the problems that come along with North America. You know, it's crazy over here. And then uh, solo queue ping issues and just garbage solo queue in general, all this stuff. Uh, you want to have time to start adapting to all that. Um, and again, I've said this before, whether you're a fan of Team Liquid or not, that's what you should want. Um, because if Team Liquid is at their best, if Alfari is at his best, uh, they are, one, they are a better team overall, and that's good for the, the LCS, it's good for the West, you know, increasing our chances at MSI, at World, stuff like that. But also giving better scrim partners, better practices, and better stage games to the rest of the teams and players in the LCS as well. Um, you know, if Team Liquid is better, if Alfari is here and better, it makes all of our top laners better, all of our teams better, it makes our league better overall, better competition uh, is good for everything, and it's just good for viewership, business, in terms of result. Um, so I, I think it is all very, very good. So even if you're uh, not a, a fan of Team Liquid, I could see how it'd be easy to be like, oh, I hope Alfari doesn't make it over. I'd rather play against Jenkins, blah, 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 blah. Um, yes, you might be able to pick up some cheap wins here and there, but I think in the long run, uh, it would be worse uh, for no matter what team, no matter pl what player, anything that you root for. Um, you know, if Alfari is as good as advertised, if he's going to come over and actually be a very, very strong top laner, uh, then it is in the best interest of everyone in the league if uh, he is able to make it over. So again, I'm wishing him the best luck. I'm wishing them the best luck. Uh, to the people kind of flaming the Team Liquid management, I don't, I find it, I would find it very, very hard to believe if it's actually a management issue that's uh, kind of bringing about these uh, visa issues, because again, it, it seems like uh, TSM was able to get some people over, obviously Sword Art was able to come over, um, but they're having issues with Yursan, it seems like it's not just a management issue, it seems like, uh, I, I, I want to at least believe, I'm at least optimistic enough to believe it's not just Team Liquid management being negligent, especially after last year, I'm sure they're doing all the right things, but again, 
just a case by case basis it seems very I don't, I don't know if random is the right word um but just very very different uh and it seems like sometimes there's just nothing you can do depending on uh when the paperwork gets filed who gets filed by how exactly all that works out again i'm i'm by no means an expert i don't understand any of it um but from what i've been told and from my understanding um is i would not rush to blame it on the management uh or say you know team liquid dog or uh, doing making the same mistakes as last year or anything like that um because at the very very least if they did mess something up last year i i would hope that they did everything in their power to get this uh transitioned much much more smoothly this year uh and again it sounds like they're optimistic they're confident whether they've been told that it's going to be uh you know good to go by the time locking tournament or whether it's being uh you know blissfully confident or whatever uh remains to be seen but Lock-in tournaments 10 days away. We still have 10 more days to get this all sorted out. Uh, but closest source of Team Liquid are telling me and are believing that uh, Alfari should be ready to go for that. So hopefully you guys will be excited and happy to hear that. Uh, again, I just wanted to follow up on the video I made the other day because I know uh, I got some people kind of wondering uh, whether or not Alfari was actually going to be ready to go. Uh, and this is just the latest information I have for you guys. And I was excited to kind of break my first story as well. Uh, and, I, and again, I'm going to, over the course of the season, I'm going to do my best to give you guys as many of these as I can. I'm constantly going to be talking to people reaching out to people trying to get some stories trying to get some scoops uh and yeah this is what i've heard but that is pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below what do you think about this situation are you hyped up for alfari do you think uh you know with him on team liquid they're going to be able to win the lock-in tournament do you think they're going to be really really good or do you think alfari is not going to be good and he should just stay over in europe and they should just quit the visas all together i would love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions uh, on anything we talked about on team liquid alfari the lcs lock-in tournament whatever uh definitely subscribe to update on all my latest content hopefully catch you guys in the next one but until then peace